Now, one of the perks of being Biotechnica's CEO is I get to interact with a lot of industry professionals and at the same time, I get to interact with a lot of students just like you. So, um, the other day I was talking to this student. Uh, she is one of the enrolled student Watson Scholar. And right now she is doing her uh, master's in NIT and uh, she is a Watson Scholar. So she asks me, won't people prefer going for a government job like research or academia since it's more stable? Are the private companies not more prone to layoffs and economic deficits? So because I was running short of time, so I said, okay, uh, I'll come back to you on this later. So I thought, okay, why not make a complete video where I answer this and much many more questions and of course, I'm going to tell you about the most successful, richest scientist of our country, right? Now, the fun part of this is the scientist is sitting on the boundary of uh, chemistry and biotechnology. So, yeah, so this video is for both Rasayanika and Biotechnica. Now, the question is about government jobs. They are stable, they are um, less prone to layoffs and all that. And that is only because when you're looking at a job, right? But this rich scientist didn't look, look for that. He looked for something else, right? My question to you is, when was the last time you saw the Forbes top 500 or top 1000 people who are rich, okay, that they were in government job? Nobody became a billionaire or a, even a millionaire legally by doing a government job. Now, that's something you have to think. Now, I'll come to the story for today, and that is about the inspirational journey of Murali Divi. Now, Mr. Divi is the founder of Divi Laboratories, and this is one of the top three manufacturers of active pharmaceutical ingredients, API, in the world. Top three, right? Now, you can say he had the perk of starting early in his career, but of course, he did his bachelor's in pharmacy, small town upbringing. Very poor family. Father was in government job. Monthly uh, salary was 10,000 rupees and uh, big family. He even failed class 12th. Okay. Twice. Not once, but twice. But he kept going. Okay. Now, in 1976 is when uh, Murli Devi left for his US endeavor and he had only rupees 500 in his pocket, right? And he went there to pursue a career as a pharmacist, right? Now, while he was working in US, he built on his experience. He worked at US companies like Trinity Chemicals, like Fike Chemicals, and he gained a valuable experience in the pharmaceutical industry. And he made some good money, around $65,000 uh, per year he was making then. And then he returns to India, okay? And he uh, has only $40,000 in his pocket. And he uh, he founded a company with Dr. Reddy's, um, Dr. Anji Reddy. He Dr. Anji Reddy was his mentor. So in around 1990, he found DV Labs. He left uh, Dr. Reddy's and he started DV Laboratories. And his first manufacturing facility came uh, in around 1995 in uh, Tilangana, the current Tilangana state. That time it was Andhra Pradesh. And uh, then they went into expansion and growth. In 2002, it launched its second manufacturing facility near Vishakhapatnam. And uh, there, you know, Revenue grew and uh, it was $88 billion as of March 2022. So you can imagine this rags to riches. On the road he was and he became one of the richest scientists with his net worth is at this juncture 53,000 crores. Yes, he's one of the richest scientists in this world. He started as a pharmacist, right? He was blessed. And of course, hard work pays. And he's one of the living examples of that, right? Today, Divi Labs is one of the biggest manufacturers, one of the largest manufacturers of active pharmaceutical ingredient in the world. And Mr. Murli Devi is one of the richest scientists alive with a net worth of 53,000 crores. That's around $6.5 billion as we speak as of today, right? Now, his focus throughout his life was on a goal. And there were some setbacks. He had his own set of obstacles. It's not that he uh, didn't face obstacles, but he remained focused. He remained focused towards his goal and he worked towards his goal, right? And he made his dream a reality. Now, at no point in time, he was like, okay, government job I should do because it is stable. He, take, he took risks, right? So, you know, 
all the things which we have been taught in this education system is totally wrong. And Mr. Murli Devi's uh, life is a fine example of that. You know, we are taught, okay, grow up, do a degree, do a job, and then you can become rich. But here, he learnt all the skill set while he was in job and then went ahead and started his own factory. And that factory today is the world's third largest manufacturer, right? Of course, educational qualifications matter, right? His uh, pharma education in MIT, Manipal. No, he's not I IITian, okay? He's not from IIM. So he's just an average guy, just like you, you all on the road, just like me, right? But he could do it. So how, how he could do it? The power of perseverance, never losing hope. Keep moving forward, understanding that life is not binary. A yes is always not a yes and a no is not a no. There is life in between yes and a no. Okay. And that is despite failures, despite rejections, he kept moving forward. He didn't lose his ability, his faith and in himself and in the community and his hard work, his grit. He had to pay a big price, obviously. But this Journey is a testament of the incredible power of hard work, determination and unwavering commitment to achieve one's goal. If you are willing to take up a stable job, then go for a government job. But if you want to become the richest scientist in the world, then you will have to take risks. You will have to learn. You will have to go abroad or India, no matter location does not matter. You will have to imbibe all the things which Biotechnica and I am sharing with all of you. And you will have to create solutions, life-saving medicines. Today, Divi Labs is creating so many life-saving medicines. And that is how he is generating so million, billions of dollars, right? So, it is very important to, you know, be at the right place at the right time and also create opportunity. See, he started a company that created so many jobs. Right, you sh you should have that undying desire to progress, never stop. Right, keep moving forward, and always look at adversity as an opportunity to learn something new. I was born in a poor family, and I can relate to this. What Mr. Murli Devi has gone through, and you should too. The future of pharma manufacturing is bright, and Devi Labs is going to rock, and they are going to build a sustainable future for all of us. And new innovations and challenges will always lie. And that is where you all can also become a successful scientist entrepreneur and become the richest scientist of the world. Why do you want to do a government job when you have opportunity to become the richest scientist? I think that's a question you should ask today. Now, a new era in biotech and pharma is about to open with the help of machine learning, artificial intelligence. And that is where I want to highlight the way Murli Devi was at the cusp of a revolution, the API revolution. Today, you are at the cusp of a revolution and that is a computers in biology revolution, coding in biology revolution, AI in biology revolution, ML in bio biology revolution, bioinformatics in biotech revolution. There is one thing which I forgot to mention, so I should mention is the importance of mentors. So he had Dr. Anji Reddy as his mentor, right? Dr. Reddy's founder. The same way today, Biotechnica, me and many of our network people, many entrepreneurs in the industry are ready to mentor you, which we have already started with the mentorship program at Biotechnica. You know, you have to know that when you give back to the society, it pays back to you. And that is why all these uh, people are coming and ready to, you know, mentor all of you. So here is something which I want to highlight. You have to decide whether you want to live the same day every day in a government job, which is a stable and very secure job, or you want to take risks and create a legacy, create wealth and create a company or a future for yourself, for your family members, for your you know community, village or city, which wherever you belong to and the power of vision to see a dream and make it happen. Today, you are watching this video because I saw a dream to make Biotechnica and Rasainica happen. And I want to urge that if you also see such dreams, you can also make things like Dr. Murli Devi. So with this, I would like to come to an end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, my aim was not to derail you from whatever you're doing. 
but my aim was to spark a conversation within you to ask that nobody became a millionaire doing a government job instead if you pursue your passion if you pursue your dreams you will fail but the day you succeed you will be the richest scientist in the world choice is yours dream is yours my job is to just show the path thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then keep shining keep dreaming and keep commenting below all the best